Hi, I'm Andy the Palm Springs Linguist on a road trip all the way from Palm Springs to Texas where I'm going to explore this facility behind me, the Space Center in Houston, and take a close look at satellite framed languages. Space Center Houston is a museum which serves as the official visitor center of NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, where astronauts train and ground crew conduct flight control. In the famously paraphrased quote during the Apollo 13 space flight in 1970, Houston, we have a problem. Houston refers to the NASA Johnson Space Center mission control. Space Center Houston is a place where visitors can learn about astronauts, rockets, and satellites. In space travel, a satellite can refer to a machine whose path orbits a planet. In linguistics, when discussing verb phrases, a satellite refers to a word that indicates the path of the verb. Every language is capable of expressing any thought. Different languages may express the same thought more or less efficiently, but ultimately every language does have the capability of communicating any thought. However, different languages may word the same thought in different ways. A word-for-word -word translation may not always be possible, but the thought can definitely be expressed in every language. Now you're probably thinking, wait, what about language populations that haven't been exposed to a certain concept, therefore may not have the vocabulary necessary to discuss that concept? For example, what about a small, isolated language community that lives deep in the jungle, isolated in the mountains, or alone on a remote island? Would they have the vocabulary needed to discuss a recent technological advancement? While there may very well be languages that do not currently have the specific vocabulary to discuss a specific concept, all languages can and will adapt to meet the need. Language is different than mathematics. Math is a closed system, meaning that every concept in math already exists. While a mathematician can discover something in math that nobody has ever discovered before, the newly discovered concept already existed. It just wasn't discovered yet. That differs from language. Language is an open system, meaning that language changes and evolves to meet the needs of its speakers. If there is a new concept in the world and the existing linguistic resources, especially vocabulary, and a language are not adequate to discuss the new concept, the language will adjust. For example, if a new word is needed, a language will borrow a word from another language and make it its own. Or it will take existing resources within its own language to create the new word. It is often said that Inuits have a language with 50 different words for snow, making several different distinctions for types of snow. Regardless of whether that is true, that does not mean that English or any other language is not capable of making all these distinctions. The difference is that a given language may need to use multiple words to express a single concept, while another language may have a single word to express the very same concept. So while any given thought can be expressed in any language, the way the language expresses it may be different. Satellite framing and verb framing are two different ways languages can express the same idea differently. She ascended the stairs limping is a perfectly grammatical sentence, but would you ever actually say it? Not likely, because that is a verb framed sentence, and English prefers satellite framing. She limped up the stairs is a satellite frame sentence and sounds much more natural in English, but not in several other languages. There is a difference between a verb and a verb phrase. A verb is a type of word that denotes an action or state. A verb phrase is a phrase headed by a verb, but may also include words that modify the verb. An adjunct is a word or phrase that provides additional information but can be removed without affecting the integrity of the sentence. The noun moon in the sentence, a moon rock is on display in Space Center Houston, is a noun adjunct. It is an adjunct because you can remove it, leaving the same essential sentence just with less information. A rock is on display in Space Center Houston. An adjunct can be any part of speech. In a verb phrase, you can encode the path, which is where something is going, and you can encode the manner, which is how something is moving. 
In, she limped up the stairs. Up encodes the path, and limped encodes the manner. In, she ascended the stairs limping. Ascended encodes the path, and limping encodes the manner. When the head of a verb phrase does not encode the path, a satellite is a word or phrase in the verb phrase that does encode the path. A satellite may be in the form of a preposition, a verb adjunct, an adverb, or other part of speech. A satellite frame language is a language that prefers to encode the path in a satellite and the manner in the head of the verb phrase. A verb frame language is a language that prefers to encode the path in the head of the verb phrase. Let's look at some examples from different languages. Since English prefers satellite framing in the object floated out of the spacecraft, the verb floated encodes the manner and the satellite prepositions out of encode the path. Since Spanish proverbs verb framing in the Spanish translation, el objetivo salió flotando de la nave espacial. Literally, the object exited floating from the spacecraft. The verb that is the head of the verb phrase, salió, or exited, encodes the path. The adjunct verb, participle, flotando, or floating, encodes the manner. Like Spanish, French also prefers verb framing. So let's look at how translations of these sentences into French differ from English. Elle a marché dans le centre spatial means she walked in the space center. It does not mean she walked into the space center. The preposition dans indicates the location, not the path. Since there is no indication of path, a verb can be used to indicate the manner. In order to say she walked into the space center, since French is a verb, verb framed language, the path is indicated by the verb itself, not a satellite like English. So the French is, elle est entrée dans le centre spatial. Literally, she is entered in the space center. Notice that the path is indicated by the verb, but the manner is omitted. That is because French tends to include the manner only if it is important information. Since walking is the routine and expected way for someone to enter the space center, unlike English, it is left off. However, in the sentence, elle est entre dans le centre spatial en courant, literally, she is entered in the space center on running. She ran into the space center. The manner is important information because people don't normally run into the space center. They walk. Languages that prefer verb framing include Spanish, French, Arabic, Turkish, Hebrew, Japanese, Korean, and Basque. Languages that prefer satellite framing include German, Dutch, Greek, Norwegian, Swedish, and English. While English prefers satellite framing, such as the astronaut floated across the interior of the spacecraft, English is capable of verb framing. The astronaut crossed the interior of the spacecraft floating. Verb frame sentences such as this in English may be grammatically correct, but often sound unnatural. English verbs that encode the path usually come from Latin, such as enter, exit, ascend, and descend. Some languages don't encode path or manner in the verb, and therefore can't be categorized verb framed or satellite framed languages. The reality is that languages often don't fall neatly into one of these categories. But understanding the difference between satellite framing and verb framing can be super valuable in learning another language, especially if you're learning a language whose preference is not the same as your primary language. It is not enough to ask yourself whether a sentence follows the possible grammatical patterns of a language, since an utterance can be grammatically correct in a language, but still not match the preferences of that language. So if you're learning a new language, don't just ask yourself, can you say that? Also ask yourself, would you? Now I want to hear from you. Prior to watching this video, had you ever noticed the difference between satellite framing and verb framing, even if you didn't know what they were called? Discover a language you were never taught in school while exploring the California desert and beyond. If you enjoyed this episode, please click like and subscribe right now to not miss any future episodes of the Palm Springs Linguist. The Houston Space Center was a blast, but tomorrow I'm driving into New Orleans. Or I could say, I'm entering New Orleans driving. Well, no matter how your language says it, I'm Andy the Palm Springs linguist, and I'm heading back to the hotel so I can be off to the pool.